Hey there YouTube, Elite Legionario here, bringing you another Medieval 2 Total War Kingdoms game. This time it'll be on the Britannia Kingdoms expansion. I'll be in command of Norway, and my opponent again is a Swedish Landsknecht, and he is in command of Wales. So for those of you who are British Isle fans, this battle was for you. So my army consists of, I had three units of Chivalric Knights, a General's Bodyguard, and I realised it was three units of Huskars up here. I was only allowed, um, I had one cab too many, so one of these guys I'm going to retreat. So this is going to weaken my, my whole army all round because um, it does take about a thousand gold out of my army because I, I, I've accidentally got too many cav. So I have four units of regular crossbowmen. And for my main infantry line, I have four units of dismounted, oh, not dismounted, four units just uh, Gotland footmen. In my opinion, these guys are the best heavy infantry in the Britannia campaign. They are incredibly good. So I was happy to use them, and in the centre I had three units of dismantled Shrivelet Knights. So if we look at our Swedish Lance next force, he has one, two, three, four units of Safeware um, Mongo Welsh Archers, really, really good archer unit. Um, he has two of these uh, Morgan Wig Spearmen, uh, which are, I think it's two, uh, sorry, it's three Morgan Wig Spearmen, and these guys are really good at, you see, look at their armour, they are like heavy knights, but they're spears, so they are very good at killing cavalry. Um, a lot of the other light, lighter arm spear units, even though they use a spear, are pretty hopeless in your cave, not these guys, these guys are very effective. Up here, he's got a reserve with, um, with uh, rifle wear, uh, I think I'm think I'm saying these names right. I'm not don't really know Welsh. Uh, he's a heavy axeman, a pretty good two-handed unit. And like I said, no two handers a glitcher in this one and these kingdoms expansion, so it's great. And as reserve row, he has several units of so two units of Welsh militiamen and two units of Gwent raiders, which are just light and contributor. But they look pretty cool. All these units look pretty cool. Um, he's got a unit of um, Hero's Bodyguard, uh, T. Lu, he's got, I think it's T. T. Lu, I think it's how you say it, three units of those, uh, Heavy Knight, a pretty decent one too. So uh, anyway, he gets off to a pretty good start um, with his, uh, with his uh, Sailor Foyer um, archers there. He's got them in the stakes there, so I can't just charge them. Um, I believe he's got some stuff hidden as well, because they that kind of catches me out here. Yeah, here we go, here's a unit of, how do I say this? Um, Mathrashal horsemen, they're like cab you know, they, I think they're a pretty good one though because they remind me a lot of Hussars because they have the same sort of battle lance and I'm pretty sure they're pretty deadly. So um, I had to leave one of my cab behind, I just retreated it out because uh, that would have broken my own rules by accident. So anyway, um, I'm going to try and push forward and go around this formation, I don't want to go through those stakes, that won't work. So I've got my crossbowmen uh, engaging here in, in the missile fight. And uh, in a moment I'm going to try and make an attack my Shivalik Knights, and I don't really know what goes wrong here, but something, my Shivalik Knights get really clean, cleaned out by these these two units over here. I'm assuming it's probably because you've got plenty of missile support in. I also have two units of Staff and Sword Militia, Sword and Staff Militia, I like to mention that. So I'm going to use it to try and pin down some of these guys, that's all. I'm going to tackle out on this flank. I need to make sure I get a good charge here. Um, I do charge my uh, Huskars in. Uh, but his heavy cab is doing a bit of a job of it, which I surprised at. Huskars don't have much of a charge, we've got a mirror fight, he's a little bit axe and um, um, pierce weapon. But uh, it's probably because he's got one of these, um, some of his um, Morgan, uh, yeah, Morgan spearmen and they are really deadly. So I do charge his heavy cavalry here. Um, but as you see, this light cavalry somehow manages to beat my shivered knight, so it must be a very good light cavalry unit, because there are a few of them in base medieval too. So I was really annoyed at the time, but um, it's going pretty even here, but I didn't keep a very good eye on this. I just, I really wasn't pleased with my knight in this fight. He has these heavy spearmen supporting, so I get pretty cream. In the centre here, um, I get too clumped up. I'm trying to go around, um, but he does a very good job making this very hard. And he's got his archers back offering constant flank fire, so even though my Gotland footmen are um, doing a very good job, they're getting stuck, they're not getting any traction, um, and they didn't get much of a charge, so he did a very good job of making sure I couldn't do that. Um, and I can't really support my cab, I've got to try and get round, but he's making it very hard for me to get round. And um, as you see, I do lose my cab quite badly, my Chevrolet Knights, and that's where I may just screw it up. But my infantry is a lot better than his. That is where um, Denmark, uh, sorry, not Denmark, Norway is very good. It's infantry is a lot better. As you see, I am routing quite a lot of his infantry. But um, I'm not really able to implement my cavalry very well. Because um, I can't, 
using the great now he's freed up a lot of his cab here but I do manage to get caught up in the melee fight and it all very quickly lose to his Gotland Footman his Gotland Footman are uh, the um, as I said probably the best infantry unit in the Arcanian's uh, Britannia expansion so um, unfortunately though because he's freed up a lot of his cavalry um, that puts me at a huge disadvantage and I've got to try out my general's bodyguard and I do see an opening here slip around behind his line However, at this stage, he's now um, encircling me because he has a lot more men numbers than I do. Um, I am getting some nice flank shots, but he did charge me with these um, Morgan with spearmen. Um, and these guys are extremely good spearmen, so they can really they can go out in a melee fight with the heavy infantry pretty Lord, well. Be merciful, we have lost see. half of our um, men. I do a lot of damage to his infantry, that is for sure. My infantry is definitely winning this fight, but because I lost the cavalry fight, I'm getting a pretty um, nasty driving down. He's just got more numbers of infantry, so he's able to come out flank me. So that kind of ruins it. I got my general in the back somewhere here. Yeah, it is. I tried. I should have. I wasted my time with these archers. I should have been hammering and anvil and hardcore on these guys over here. But uh, he was screening me out with spearmen, so that was making that difficult. But I should have been at this much sooner because I probably could have saved myself if I had um, got that, that cavalry in there quicker, my general's unit. So here I'm going to charge the back of these, uh, these uh, heavy axemen here, and I will um, likely do a lot of damage, although I think my charge was a little bit um, interrupted. So I'm going to pull it up. So if you look at the numbers there, um, it's definitely in his favour. Uh, he had a lot more, I think he had more numbers. And of course, like I said, I had to pull out that cavalry unit there, and that was like a thousand less gold to work with, and that probably wouldn't have made much of a difference anyway, he just outplayed me this time around. Um, as you can see, my army's starting to break. I really mucked up my child. I do get his general though, that's kind of... That's kind of like a little reward for my, my efforts there, but um, Only intervention I mucked up big time on the flank over there. Genius can bring us this defeat is a bitter drink to but swallow. It's all good. I, it was a fun fight. So, um, this time a large sneak beats me, and it's a very clear defeat. As you can see though, he had 300 more men than me, or 250, so his numbers were tricky there, and I had to pull out one of my cavalry, remember that, so I wasn't able to use that. But I, I don't think it would make much, much of a difference anyway. As you can see there, I have probably just a little bit less than him. But it's, it's still clear that I've got, what, like 70 less for the cap? Yeah, so about 70 less. So if we look at the stats here, and um, what did the best? The Chevrolet Knights, nice. they did shocking. I, I think it's just because I didn't support them. I, I got, they didn't get way too isolated. The General did pretty good. The Huskals, I left them in the fight for long. I really screwed it with the cavalry here. This is what... See, uh, guys, you'll see how I always talk about keeping your cab moving and doing a repeated charge. Well, this is what happens when you let them get hung around too long. I let them get hang around in fights too long and isolated, and they got picked apart by infantry support, and they will lose in a fight like that, and that's why... Because, general speaking, um, you know, it's the cavalry that Norway has is better than Wales. So, that was I, what I did wrong then was not, you know, not use them very repeatedly, which is usually odd for me because I usually do it. Infantry-wise, though, um, the Chivalric Knights, they did pretty good, come up pretty even. The Gotland Footmen, they did pretty good, although these last two didn't actually do as well as I would have liked. But um, believe you me, guys, if they get a good, good charge, which they didn't in this fight, which didn't help them, but if they get a good charge, they will win new fights. They are very good heavy infantrymen. Um, the crossbowmen, they didn't do the greatest, and sword and staff didn't do the greatest either. So um, this one definitely wasn't the best piece of my mic work, and my strategy wasn't the best in this fight. I didn't, I didn't use my cab well at all. So good game to Swedish Lanschnick. Um He definitely deserves that one. And um, I have one more for the another kingdoms one next with Lanschnick again. So looking for, hope you, looking forward to bringing that, guys. Hope you are enjoying seeing some kingdom stuff. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you, Swedish Lanschnick, for playing playing these games again. It's extremely appreciated. So great game. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you soon for the next one.